I'm not here to say that AI has not unlocked new levels of productivity or that they haven't been able to hone their solution to be able to offload some of the work that was being done by their team. But the idea that 50% of all of the work that's being done at Salesforce is being done by AI and that they are able to just quickly slash almost half of their entire customer support staff makes me question what we're going to see a year from now when it comes to rehiring people to support their customers when they've gotten backlash or pushback. I created a TikTok about this, and in the comments, I had people that had been 10-year veterans of Salesforce consulting saying that they're scared for what this is going to do to the support that they've already been receiving. And there is a lot of skepticism based off of people that have used the platform of whether it's going to be able to really pick up the slack that Salesforce is presenting to the market that it will be able to. We're hearing this big narrative of the fact that AI is displacing all of these jobs. And again, that's not to say that there isn't disruption happening in the marketplace, but based off some current research from Challenger Gray and Christmas, there is only about 10,000 job cuts that have been done in the year of 2025 that can directly be attributed to artificial intelligence. Now, not minimizing any of those 10,000 people that may have lost their job, but in the grand scheme of things, in comparison to the total amount of layoffs that we've seen within the year, which is close to 90,000 jobs, that's really only about 1.2% of what is taking place in terms of total job losses across the year. So when we hear these salacious stories of 4,000 jobs from Salesforce alone being eliminated, when the external research says that it's been really about 10,000 that can be attributed to artificial intelligence, those stories don't quite match up.